Timeline Dynamics, Time Travel and the Nature of Linear Time By Pao Chang The rules of time travel are rooted in quantum physics. Understanding these rules reveals much about the behavior of hyperdimensional beings and the reason for certain metaphysical laws. Timeline dynamics is essentially about temporal feedback loops between the present and its available range of probable futures. This is just realm dynamics reinterpreted from the perspective of linear time, which affords additional insights as you will see. Although timeline dynamics sounds abstract, it has concrete applications pertaining to manifesting positive synchronicities, deflecting hyperdimensional manipulation, bending probability, and transcending matrix limitations. The Nature of Linear Time A good place to start would be to recap the nature of time. Linear time is the constant flow of variable futures into a single immutable past. Every moment of choice involves multiple optional pathways into the future. Each path is a deterministic chain of effects cascading forward like dominoes toward the next moment of choice whereupon another branching takes place. Viewed from a higher dimension, this looks like an intricate roadmap where intersections and exits represent choice points and the roads represent the causal consequence of those choices. The entire roadmap exists at once, a simultaneous whole. Linear time is the product of our minds moving through the map tracing out a route which becomes our remembered past. From our perspective, the route is drawn in permanent marker, once drawn, it cannot be erased. Not so for beings who have transcended linear time by becoming hyperdimensional. From their perspective, our pathway through the network is comparable to a winding string pinned to the map with thumb tacks. The string represents the causal progression of events, and the tacks represent our moments of choice. Multiple interacting individuals weave a complicated web whose nodes are pinned in place by the combined strength of their free will. An entity outside linear time can change the past either by overriding a choice already made, or by inserting a new sequence of events where free will was absent and thus not viable. The string network may be altered by repositioning attack or creating a deviation in some loose section of string. Obviously the latter is easier. Except for feelings of déjà vu, we would not naturally notice a timeline edit since our memories would change as well. We can trace the string back and find it winds a continuous path, meaning all consequences of the timeline change are consistently accounted for by preceding causes when examined. As a result, we normally remember only the most recent edit as being the past that always was. So from our perspective time is constant, singular, and permanent. From a higher perspective, time is variable in its rate of flow and selective in its configuration. Our perception of time, like the flow of time within a movie or novel, is an illusion. The string exists from beginning to end, simultaneously, but its path is open to revision. True time moves forward not with the tick of a clock but the making of a choice. That which is inevitable has already happened. The seemingly irreversible flow of linear time has its origins in quantum phenomena. Like a movie projector displaying successive frames to create the illusion of motion, so does consciousness continuously select from a stationary spectrum of realities which frame to experience next. The non-deterministic, unpredictable, nature of choice is what creates this one-way flow of time, at our level of existence. The collapse of a wave function cannot be reversed, and it is this collapse which generates time as we know it. Quantum Physics of Time Travel Last year, 2005, an interesting paper appeared that investigated the paradoxes of time travel in context of quantum physics. Usually time travel is approached from the relativity angle, involving black holes or faster-than-light travel, whose requirements for application are too immense to be practical. Fortunately, it turns out that the quantum interpretation opens the door to understanding some basic fourth density, beyond linear time, principles. What follows is a summary and discussion of the paper by Daniel Greenberger and Carl Svozo titled Quantum Theory Looks at Time Travel. From the abstract, we introduce a quantum mechanical model of time travel which includes two figurative beam splitters in order to induce feedback to earlier times. This leads to a unique solution to the paradox where one could kill one's grandfather in that once the future has unfolded, it cannot change the past, and so the past becomes deterministic. 
On the other hand, looking forwards towards the future is completely probabilistic. This resolves the classical paradox in a philosophically satisfying manner. From the conclusion. According to our model, if you travel into the past quantum mechanically, you would only see those alternatives consistent with the world you left behind you. In other words, while you are aware of the past, you cannot change it. No matter how unlikely the events are that could have led to your present circumstances, once they have actually occurred, they cannot be changed. Your trip would set up resonances that are consistent with the future that has already unfolded. This also has enormous consequences on the paradoxes of free will. It shows that it is perfectly logical to assume that one has many choices and that one is free to take any one of them. Until a choice is taken, the future is not determined. However, once a choice is taken, and it leads to a particular future, it was inevitable. It could not have been otherwise. The boundary conditions that the future events happen as they already have, guarantees that they must have been prepared for in the past. So, looking backwards, the world is deterministic. However, looking forwards, the future is probabilistic. This completely explains the classical paradox. In fact, it serves as a kind of indirect evidence that such feedback must actually take place in nature, in the sense that without it, a paradox exists, while with it, the paradox is resolved. Of course, there is an equally likely explanation, namely that going backward in time is impossible. This also solves the paradox by avoiding it. The model also has consequences concerning the many worlds interpretation of quantum theory. The world may appear to keep splitting so far as the future is concerned. However, once a measurement is made, only those histories consistent with that measurement are possible. In other words, with time travel, other alternative worlds do not exist, as once a measurement has been made confirming the world we live in, the other worlds would be impossible to reach from the original one. To more accurately rephrase what is said above, a time traveler can only interact in a causal, physical, tangible manner with pasts that 